divas. What I have for you today is going to make your diamond painting life and your drawing life easier. So much, so much easier. Uh, I got this. I got a, um, an email from Alain, A-L-A-I-N, who has a shop on Amazon.com. And they sell diamond painting tools, most notably light pads. They asked me if I wanted to show you a light pad that is, um, you don't have to plug it in. It is rechargeable and hands-free type thing. There is a battery. But I'm going to tell you, I, I have been looking for one of these and, well, just because of things that have gone on, I haven't splurged and, and uh, purchased one. But guess what came? A lithium battery tracing light pad three color temperature okay has a lithium battery six level adjustments bracket built in six levels of brightness and stepless adjustable brightness what does all this mean i'm going to show you i cannot wait look at that it even has a stand it is has a scale built into the sides of these things it's slim, it's got soft light, and it's got a charger available or it's on the battery. So I haven't opened this yet. I am so looking forward to doing so. Oh, I can't wait. I want to show it to you. I want to charge it up and show it to you. So, this is another place to open here. Come on. I really should use the scissors. <laughs> I'm so excited and have one on. Here's the back the back of the box. You can copy artwork, trace photos, add action to animation with multiple sheets, sketch, stencil. Um, you can put copy paper on it, do your artwork on it. This is let's see must be an a3 i think did i get them all yeah okay so let's see it comes with uh the charger the usb port with um it looks like a universal end on that nicely packed in foam i <gasps> can't wait to use this i cannot wait to use this more foam, that's a good thing. And a foam sleeve. All right, LED light pad. Give us the specifics and product information. I will link to their Amazon site through my affiliate link down uh, in the box, description box below. And let's see. So you can go right to it. Before I un, you know, see if this one's working, I want to show you the problem that we have with other light pads. All right. <clears throat> light pads that I've worked with before either have a cord coming out that you need to attach another um, end on that you, you plug in to your, um, you know, your outlet. Uh, what I have a problem with is this always, I don't know whether it's this end or the other end, but one of these, the wires break in this little thing. And when the wires break, it flickers on and off and it drives me absolutely nuts. Now, I like that this one doesn't have a, a rim around the edge. I put it on my easel. This I added myself. This is that little, um, that little foot thing 
to keep you from accidentally turning your pad on and off because that always happens, right? Another thing that goes wrong is when you plug these USB things right into the top of some of the light pads. The connections get bad within here and within here. These things get loose. Um, my husband, you know, electrical genius that he is, he went and fixed one of mine and it didn't last long before the whole thing started to pull apart and come apart and it was worthless anyway. So he's going to play with it again. Um, I like the size. I really do. And it's, these are 30 by 40s and they fit, they fit perfectly on here. It comes with a a little magnetic catch that holds your diamond painting on it or your whatever you're drawing. Okay. Yep. It's, you know, it, it'll hold it, right? It'll hold it sideways, upside down, whatever. It'll definitely hold it. Okay, so on the, what I notice around this side is here. Ooh, it's already. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Did you see the color change? It's blue. And it's got a soft color to it. It looks. Okay, that's off. Bluish and a yellowish and a white. And this is the brightness. So it's got. It's got not only the three different tones of light, the blue light, the yellow soft light, and the plain white light. It's also got brightness levels of each one. Oh, this is so cool. This says at the top, remove the protective film from the front before use. All right, we will do that. It has a protective film on here. And it looks like it goes from 0 to 38 and 0 to 29 uh, centimeters across the edges. Oh, wow. And let's see. I'm going to turn it off for a second. I'm definitely going to have to put one of those little uh, things. Hmm one of those little switch covers on there so that I don't continue to accidentally bump it. Oh, let's look at this back. Let's see. Okay. Should I read the instructions first? <laughs> oh, I s okay, here we go. Look, that's the stand. Okay. And you can stand it here and a little lower and a little lower. It looks like there's six adjustments on this as well. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Where does the battery come and go? Does it matter? Does it matter? It's got nice feet on the bottom. I guess I don't need to even worry about the battery, do I? Okay, here's the little chargey port right here. So that's where you would put the universal, oh, my Samsung has one, uh, an oval like that on it now. You would plug it in here. You, can need, it's, you can't get it upside down. It's either one way or the other. You can plug it in either way. And the other plugs into a USB port and charges it up. This is fantastic. It's supposed to be an A3. Oh, wow. A3 or D40 light pad, it says. All right, so I'm going to... Um, just going to see. I use a light pad all the time. I know some people don't use a light pad when they're working, but I find it crucial <laughs> as you're getting older to, you know... Uh, Put some ease on your eyes. You don't let's see anything else. Also called tracking writing board 
copy in cartoon animation, production of professional tools, is mainly composed of acrylic and LED lights. Used to copy paper and artwork overlap can very clearly see the bottom figure in the history of painting. I guess if you're putting several layers, I guess that's what that means. A paper on top of each other. Animators uh, can be used to draw action. All right. It really doesn't say more than that. It says place the copy paper on the tablet and connect to the power source. I guess if you need to, this uh, long press the switch to adjust the brightness step list. Okay, step list. So that's the bottom one. I'm going to turn one on here. And oh, yeah, it's lowering. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it lowering and brightening. Yes, you can. Oh my gosh, you can see that really nice. All right, there's the yellow light. It's supposed to be easier on your eyes. All right, it goes dimmer and without me even taking my finger off of it, will it get brighter? Come on, hold it down there. Yep, there it goes. All the way to bright. I mean, and that's all the soft light. And then the bright white light. Now let's go softer on that. And brighter again. Oh my gosh. This makes it so beautiful. I don't even know if I need to... Um... Okay. Yes. White light, warm light, and yellow light, it says. And they call that the temperature adjustment. I don't know what more you need. I mean, let's do away with these cords, people. Let's do away with the broken, um, the broken cords. This is genius. Absolutely genius. I like the way this picture looks even without the drills on it. What do you think? <laughs> And um, I don't think you can sit it sideways because the back won't hold it that way. But look at all the, the levels that you can do it. You can do it flat or you can do it just, just small increments at a time. I'm going to try this on my Josephine wall because... It's huge. It takes up a giant area. And I don't know. Oh, I want to get started on this right away just so I can use the new light pad. Oh, see? I accidentally changed it with my um, fingers over here. I need to definitely put some kind of a um, protection device on that so I don't turn it off or change it in the middle of anything. Oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you, Elaine, um, if I'm saying that correctly. I so appreciate this. You can't imagine how much easier this makes a diamond painter's life uh, or drawing, you know, copying something. I, you can't imagine how much easier this is going to make our crafting lives. Thank you so much. Again, I'll put the link down below, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, click through my affiliate link down below. I get a little tiny bit of kickback on it, but it's okay if, I, I just want you to be able to have this. I'm sure they come in bigger sizes too. Like, this is a perfect for 30 by 40, but you don't have to stick to 30 by 40. You can make it even bigger, you know, just move it around like we're really good at doing, moving around our or painting. So, yeah. Oh, maybe my Christmas list will be an even bigger one like this. We shall see. All right, Divas, let me know. Do you have one of these pads? Do you like it? Do, uh, do you bump the things too much? Does it make your life easier? How long does the battery last before you have to recharge it again? I don't know these things. I just opened it. So you tell me. Go down to the description below and uh, comment below and let me know your thoughts about this LED lithium battery. 
light pad. I'm psyched, people. I am psyched. All right. Well, happy holidays, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now. Hi, Divas. I have an update for you. You can see that I've worked on this diamond painting on this new light pad from Elaine. A-L-A-I-N. It's Alan with an I. And uh, I do want to give you some updates on it. On the back, <coughs> on the back, this is really neat. I love the different adjustment layers here. Uh, when you're using it on a lap desk, it does slide. So I would suggest putting something on it, like um, those uh, sticky pads. Let's see if I can find one for you. The sticky pads that keep your <clears throat> keep your um, uh, trays in place. I would put a sticky pad under each corner so that it doesn't slide around on you while you're working on it. That's one of the things I, I um, myself would suggest. And I'm going to show you. When you put it back, make sure it's all clicked in. The uh, stand is all clicked into the back because it will, um, it will get loose and, and move around if you don't. The other thing I wanted to show you is with this clip. It is magnetic, but it's not very strong. Um, I would see it just comes right out. When I was working on it and trying to move the the uh, plastic from off the top and trying to put my cover placer on it, the cover placer would make it heavy and it would hang down and it would keep falling off. So what I would suggest with it, I like to use bullnose clips on the sides and the, because of the way the thickness of the board it only clips into like well I can't clip it all the way in it has like a let me see it it has a slant to it it has a little ditch here and that's what stops the clamp but it up to that point it has like it comes across straight straight to about here and then it slants in and then there's the ditch and then the edge the edge is wide enough and it catches there but if it catches in this little ditch it's not it doesn't catch in far enough to catch the actual painting uh, I would love to have some kind of a magnetic clips or some kind of um, I would love to have some kind of magnetic clips to put on the bottom that hold your your painting in place while you're doing it that would be a real big benefit a big benefit would be to have two clips at least hanging onto the bottom if your painting is wider than the sides or two clips on the bottom and maybe one or two at the top because it just doesn't like I said th this magnet just doesn't hold much like I didn't even have to put much effort into that at all so I wanted you to see uh, how I, I love the product as far as the light goes and I wanted to you know tell you that I did bump these buttons quite often these buttons need some kind of a protector on them so that you don't keep bumping them those are the, the three things that I wanted to mention about this now that I've used it for a few hours last night I used it for about five hours and I still have charge light it's beautiful and I really love it I just wanted to let you know that this painting was from fan cells and it's called winter christmas house either that's what i called it or that's what they called it at the time it's number 0955 30 by 40 if this if you want to find this painting if they still have it i'm going to bling it up 
the snow in the background. I don't have a pure white in here, but they have grays. So what I'm going to do is use some silver, like the shiny silver um, rhinestones. I'm going to use that instead of some of the snow to give it a glisten here and there, just to sprinkle them in. I'm going to use some silver rhinestones and some white ABs to bling up the, um, the snow a bit, especially in the walkway and the tops of things. So that's how I'm going to uh, work on this. I'll show you when it's all finished. I'll show you in my uh, November, December finished compilation. Okay, just wanted to update you on this wonderful light pad, and I shall see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.